everybody, and welcome to the VESL High School Esports League. It's only the start of the season with greatness to come over the next couple of weeks leading up to the state championships. My name is Tiny Shiny, joined by Exil. So we prepare to kick off our Valorant broadcast yeah. for the day in the Metrolina Conference. Yeah, I, I'm pretty excited, right? We got some high school esports coming our way, something that is still up and coming and getting a lot of energy behind it, which is really fun to see all these young players coming yeah. out, having a fun time, playing with one another and whatnot. Uh, very excited to see. We have, uh, I believe it's Marvin Ridge today yep. against Weddington High um, today in Valorant. Best of one uh, series, so one game and done. You win, you win, you lose, yeah. you lose. But that's okay. We're all here to have fun. Oh, absolutely. I mean, even us. We're, we're in the same space right now. We're glad to be with Shenandoah University, yep. kind yep. of ha having this broadcast come to life and, you know, being a part of collegiate esports and seeing the development of the high school esports scene hopefully uh, kind of trailing trailblazing its way up yeah. to uh, kind of this pipeline right mm -hmm. so a lot of these players have the potential to move on to different things whether it's in collegiate whether it's with the tier three thing we're both big esports enthusiasts oh, and yeah. seeing things like this makes us very happy and yeah. only more hope for the future of competitive gaming but now ben as you said Best of one, these games, they're going to go pretty quick. So yep. with these two teams, it's going to be that very first week. You're getting used to your surroundings, mm -hmm. learning how to play with teammates, and potentially even a little bit of nerves heading into today. Yeah, it's it's okay to be nervous, right? Yeah. I, I certainly get nervous from time to time, even just in ranked games that aren't getting streamed, right? Because you're like, yeah. oh, I don't want to lose. Right? No. I want to <laughs> have my rank go up and not down. Exactly. Um, so yeah, playing in this kind of a competitive environment might be new to a lot of these players as well, mm -hmm. right? So there's uh, some pressure added on to you, but not too much that you can't shake off and just be there to have fun with your friends, right? Because mm -hmm. then at the end of the day, we're here just to have some laughs, have some fun, play a game that we love and enjoy together. Yeah. And if you come out with a win, awesome. Yeah. And this is a pretty, pretty big deal for all of these teams that are participating for each game title that we have here in the VESL, which stands for Varsity Esports and STEM League. Mm -hmm. $45,000 massive yeah. prize pool going over to the state championship. Mm -hmm. These teams are going to work their way through their various conferences, gaining those wins, and hopefully a spot competing in that state championships, which will be held in person mm -hmm. as well. So, like, it's a whole new layer of competition that you're going this, a whole new level of pressure, this room for yeah. growth and development. And those are some of the biggest things that we're looking out for, especially in high school esports, is learning mm -hmm. how to play with the team, learning how to adapt to new environments and face yep. different difficulties that you can find along the way. Yeah, and with the season kind of being so long as for, I guess, all of April pretty much yeah. is the entire season here, it, it'll be fun to see the growth of these players and these teams kind of come alive, right? Because week run, week one, excuse me, <laughs> like you said, can it can be a little shaky from yeah. time to time. But week four comes around, playoffs, you could be looking like a completely different team. There's so much improvement to be had uh, across the board for, for everybody here, and I'm excited to see how they grow. Absolutely. And, Ben, we have two teams, you said. Marvin Ridge, Weddington. I'll mm -hmm. be playing on a single game of Valorant. I believe it's yep. going to be Icebox, if I remember correctly. I so, believe so, as yes. we begin to load in, we'll get more of an idea of where that's going. But both of these teams so far, the average grade for Marvin Ridge, most of them are in juniors around 16, 17 years mm -hmm. old, uh, whereas they only have a five-player roster. So, yep. uh, out of those five players, I mean, this is your team. This is who you're sticking with. Mm -hmm. We can see a lot of growth that way, whereas we're looking for Weddington, if I remember correctly there was about 10 players on yeah. their roster or so which is pretty cool mm -hmm. for a high school esports team to have that much interest yeah. and involvement um, throughout the day today so hopefully we can get these players kind of rotated in and out to mm -hmm. continue that experience as we prepare to head in shortly yeah it'll be exciting to see kind of who comes in for wedding tonight because like you said there are 10 players uh, around 10 players on this roster right so it'll be cool to see who plays yeah. Who plays next week? Who plays the week after? If we're going to mix things up together, yep. if there's going to be one constant player going through all of the squads, you know, the IGL, very important thing. Yep. In-game leader, mm -hmm. if you don't know. Uh, similar is, to a captain. Yeah, similar yeah, to sports, a captain yeah. uh, of the team, right? Being able to make calls, and hopefully the rest of the team follows those calls, right? But <laughs> sometimes if you're, if you're 
going a little crazy, getting some kills, yeah. then you might go against them, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I mean, we'll get to see. I believe both our teams are ready to go on yes. in for our match. So we're going to get that started shortly, and we'll have have an idea of what that, that leadership, that decision-making is mm -hmm. going to look like. As we said, it's a lot different than sitting in your bedroom playing Valorant just by yourself, right? You're now in the same room with your teammates, your mm -hmm. classmates even, learning how to operate as a team. You're developing yep. various communication skills, problem solving. I mean, there's so much to gain just from a game like a Valorant, which is a tactical shooter on its own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and with like the problem solving, right? It's a fast paced game too, right? The rounds aren't crazy long, so you have to be able to yep. think on your feet and just try to find a solution quickly, which is really fun to do, especially with your friends and your classmates, like you said. Oh, yeah. Just being able to bounce ideas off of each other and be like, hey, let's just try let's it. Just try it. Let's yeah. see <laughs> what works. And if it doesn't, we never have to do it again if we don't want to. But if it does work, then we're like, oh, mm -hmm. well, hang on. We might be onto something here. Let's try to run this back in the next round yeah. and see if we can continue to grow and really bolster this lead yeah. uh, that they could possibly gain. I think Icebox 2 is going to be a great example of that. We did unfortunately miss that very first round, but we will see that it is Weddington on our left in the blue who managed to win that on the defender's side. So they're going to head into this with an advantage. And this is where the strategy starts to come into play. Players like a Float Relic can now purchase a higher damage weapon, such as the Guardian here, Ben. Yeah, I, I like this kind of bonus round, uh, round buy, right? So you can... Get some kills with this weapon. Get some extra gold uh, here or money in favor. A float relic has a nice angle there. Unable to get the kill. Will destroy the turret there to open up a little bit of space uh, for his their teammates uh, there. But now a possible rotation back. Seven able to get one kill onto Galaxy there in the midsection of this map. A smoke coming down. Interrupting a little bit of the vision, but not too scared as Marvin Ridge as they will push right through. Weddington got a little bit antsy there, and that's where we're starting to see players such as Carapy on Weddington sniff out what's going on in the middle portion of the map. They do need to make their way over to sites A or B. It does appear B is the floor leaning direction with only Swamp here on that chamber holding down that angle. It's going to have to be a very quick rotate from the defenders and an even better time now. 4v4 on the field. Great decision making as we just saw. Switty's on the rotation. A floor wasn't even close to ready for what Switty did. An incredible movement from our duelist player to grab a couple shots. Now with the Guardian in their hands. Ben, that's a third now going the direction of the ways. Ray's only Wicked remaining, having to clutch up. But that's really difficult to do, given the attackers around their own. Yeah, a really clean attacking round there from Marvin Ridge. Able to pick up that Guardian is Switty. Able to pick up a kill as well. But I believe that's three kills on the side of this raise. Will opt to stick with the Guardian. Does have some money available uh, to buy something if they want. Uh, sitting at around $4,500, uh, if you will. Uh, credits. Credits, there uh, we go. For, for Valorant here. Um, but yeah, opting to just kind of play around, possibly doing the same thing. They faked that A uh, rotation push, which was really good to see from this squad here, faking that one, going back over to be able to pick up kills. Ooh. You see wow. a float relic trying to get aggressive, but Switty able to flick around with the Vandal and find that kill. Switty is on fire yeah. right now. You put a Vandal in this guy's hands, it's just a one-tap headshot. And that's, that's all it takes to take a player down. Saw the teleport come in and reacted almost perfectly to that. Galaxy planning her own reapproach. The Neon has a lot of mobility, but spotted out by the Sova Drone. Is she ready for the attacks? No, Seven is going to manage to get there first, leaving the defenders at a disadvantage. Marvin Ridge still need plant or find a close plant. Rather, they have the spike down over by site B, but not too much control over there. Weddington have control of this high ground area. As we're seeing Swamp Slur now, all of the smoke with the Viper up in their face, it's great for dividing them and slowing down a retake that we're seeing, but Weddington, they're getting aggressive. Wicked, more in particular, Spike about to blow. Do they have time? They're not even going to have a Spike defuse. Marvin Ridge set up near perfectly for that hold. Yeah, we can see the body block almost coming through there for Weddington, just trying to get that defuse down, blocking any bullets that might hit the player, trying to defuse uh, that spike. But Marvin Ridge able to spray through the smoke, get both kills there, and then Swampster trying to clean up the backside of that fight, unable to do so. Two rounds now in a row for Marvin Ridge, looking good. Swooty as well, six and two full buys for the ah. side of Marvin Ridge, meaning they have full armor, 
They have the best gun, arguably, in the game, right, on every single member of the team. It's going to be hard for Weddington uh, to come back and win this next round here. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that, what we saw from Marvin Ridge, was using Switty, of course, fragging out as usual, but also the use of these controllers in Viper and Harbor, putting up these various walls. You have the wave coming through, so there's not much sightline or even stun you can do. And now we even have the rocket. Can Switty manage to find a target for it? It's too late. Yes, this gets a double! Kill! Oh, this raise player has been looking incredible throughout the day, essentially gifting their team a round win. Marvin Ridge, 4v1, the spike is already down. They're looking to take almost a 3-1 lead here, Ben. Yeah, Swampster in a 1v4 situation. That Ooh, be hard. Nice shot! Time. One kill on XD. That is a huge pickup, but still, with a 1v3, it's going to be so hard to re-enter the site find these kills and and somehow find this we'll be able to find another one on to Karopi 1v2 now checking the angles good play coming through from Swampster but now we see Marvin Ridge playing this backside wow. and find yet another one left on no the board for oh, Marvin wow. Ridge will not be able to do it just yet seven able to find that kill but the bomb does go off seven will die as well but what a play coming out from Swampster yeah. I, I nearly counted Swampster out of that, not even <laughs> right. noticing that he pulled the Tour de la France, which is essentially a pocket operator which can one-tap yep. an enemy anywhere that mm -hmm. you manage to hit them, and the refire refresh rate is so fast. I mean, it is incredible to see somebody making use of Chamber, an agent mm -hmm. who often falls out of relevance in mm -hmm. some of the higher levels of competitive play. Swampster is showing us exactly why an agent like the Sentinel uh, can continue to be valuable for their team. Fortunately, not enough to turn their round into their favor. Margin Ridge, Marvin Ridge still have a great crack on how they want to play this attack, leaving Red's Pie back on this lurk down mid. We'll spot out Atlas, but opts to walk away from the duel. Yeah, we'll walk away indeed. Good information, though, gained by that peek through mid galaxy. Ooh. Flicked on XD with a huge pickup here for Marvin Ridge. XD? Yet again, finding two will finally go down, but Red's Pie able to answer back onto a float relic there on the side of Marvin Ridge. 4v2. This Reyna Wicked planted. a little bit low, only 18 health remaining. Does have the ultimate ability available if they decide to pop it, but. Again, another really hard retake. One oh. remaining Red Spy able to find that angle through that upper corridor area onto Wicked. And now Swamps are trying to make something happen wow. again, but Red Spy picking up three in that round, giving Marvin Ridge a 4 1 lead in the map. I want to take a second to talk about Red's Pie and what she really managed to do there. We saw initially that she was peeking down this mid angle, kind of making the enemies think that that's where Marvin Ridge were going to mm -hmm. end up approaching. But she decided, like, all right, this isn't it. I see two players. I'm just going to go with the rest of the team, calling that there's two players in mid. So automatically outnumbering Weddington on mm -hmm. an A site, you move so quickly. And she just walks in, playing this defensive role as a sentinel, and is able to pick up as many eliminations that is needed. How Marvin Ridge with a three game lead. Yeah, a, a good play from Marvin Ridge, like you said, that kind of fake out in that mid area. Now Marvin Ridge hovering around this B side area. Wicked has a nice angle Ooh. on this <laughs> on that corner. Switty getting a little bit low there, 20 Ooh. health remaining. Wicked will be able to find the one kill, but Kuropi able to answer back. Wicked finding to possibly stopping the push here. Red Spy as well, able to find a kill onto Goxley. 3v3 now, but this Viper on the side of Marvin Ridge has low health, so a little bit They're of rotating. a disadvantage as, oh yeah. They're rotating. People getting low, the rotate coming Whoa. through. Swampster though is in yeah. position to find the responses. Now it's all up to this Viper to find three kills. Kuropi has eyes on one, but won't be able to solidify the kill just yet. Okay, Karopi, we see you managed to grab one. Can she get another? No, not enough health on her side, but uh, we got we got to shout out Weddington more specifically there. Once they saw the full push on A, there's a lot of teams that would instantly think like, all right, Tate, guys, everyone's on A. We need to start moving over there. But then we saw players such as Swampster staying on B. Like, he held his ground. He's like, all right, you know what? In case that they end up going back, I'm going to stay here. And surely mm -hmm. they're expecting the rotate, but because he was lurking around, there was nobody yep. really to check that angle. He grabbed two eliminations and managed to secure Weddington the round.
Yeah, a, a big round for Weddington, right? Able to cut this lead now to two rounds, 4-2 still in favor of Marvin Ridge, but now they're able to buy weapons, right? They're able to kind of even the playing field here against Marvin Ridge. Now it's really just up to gunfights. Who is going to be able to find those headshots and find those kills and stay alive for their respective teams? Again, we see Marvin Ridge kind of hovering around this mid-area, peeking oh, through no. this B site swamps. We're able to pick up one onto XD, a huge early pickup now, giving them a man advantage five to four. Swampstar continues to impress, essentially uh, catching the poor Harvard player XD with their pants down. And it's rather unfortunate <laughs> when you're you're moving through this choke point. Like, all right, surely the chamber's not going to push up. Well, I, you you have not met Swampstar. Really a player uh, that Marvin Ridge have to respect going forwards. They're going to go back on the swift push on A, yet Carapy is denying the flank completely. Heard the teleport from a float. Said, uh-uh, not today, not in our back line. Do you need to make quick work, though? About 40 seconds to actually find this plant with Weddington uh, seeming to identify the direction that Marvin Ridge wanted to go. They moved in the A direction. The problem is, you didn't leave anyone on B. And if there's anybody that likes to pull these quick left. rotates, it's been Marvin Ridge leaving this B site essentially open. Gonna have to see major plays here in order to slow it down from Swampy Stir. Yeah, look at one before they end up falling on their own. Yeah, Swamps were able to pick up one kill, but Red's Pie able to find the response as well. 3v3, however, still not impossible for Weddington, but the attacker, Killjoy, this ultimate will detain uh, players and then not oh, allow them to have their guns out. Red Spy able to find wow. two again, three kills onto this Killjoy and Seven able to wrap it up. Another round win there for Marvin Rich. Red Spy and these post plants. I, I mean, Ben, we need to talk about this. <laughs> and that's the third round in particular that yeah. I can name where she has played an exceptional role as mm -hmm. that Sentinel. At that time, specifically more notable because you used your ultimate, which yeah. you're not going to get back for a while. But the positioning in which she placed it forced Weddington to either kind of play back yep. and not get a defuse at all or have to push in for Red Spy and hoping to win a duel out and break mm -hmm. the ultimate, but she was ready. I mean, that's exactly what she wanted. She yep. forced Weddington to play her own game. Massive asset to Marvin Ridge. Yeah, forcing them to make that decision. We're either going to fight or we're going to have to save our guns. Uh, Weddington opting to fight will lose out Red Spy. Again, just a great play from that ultimate placement afloat now holding this angle uh, towards this B site. Possibly going to be able to pick up seven here. Will we check the angle? Ooh, Will we be able to flick. pick up the kill afloat? Unable to get the kill Sheesh. in response, but seven with a huge opening kill here again for Marvin Ridge. Insane flick out of the sofa. The reaction time? Oh, not e didn't going. even flinch. Not at all. I mean, yep. Marvin Ridge, now they're up, have cracked their way into site B. But guess what? That's not where they're going. Look where the spike is right now. Exil is firmly planted down spike on the planted. A site with three players holding guard on it. The bait, Marvin Ridge, continue to outmaneuver Weddington to actually get these plants on down. And it's Red Spine nonetheless with this post plant supremacy. 3v2 with Weddington having to push in. You'll have the Empress available should Wicked opt to use it. It's a rather risky move if you decided to go in that direction, but it could just be the very thing to turn it around in 1v3. Kuropi able to find one in response onto Swampster as well. No, Red, Spy Red Spy again on that swing, that angle, able to pick up another three kills. I believe that's 12 kills on the map. Wow. Yes, it is 12, 3, Love and three. 3. Red Spy is playing out of her mind. See, I I'm a KJ player. I love playing yeah, Killjoy. Yeah. But I can't do what Red's Pie does. Like, that <laughs> right. that's the thing. I mean, she is just so good at these post-plant situations. I can't overstate it enough. And with the amount of value she's finding on eliminations, which before we were talking about Switty uh, with kind of these opening picks, mm -hmm. which he's still able to grab, no problem. But if they just don't even have to take fights to put the spike down. The fact that Marvin Ridge push up and have this confidence in their teammates, I mean, Ben, this is only week one, but the trust is already there. Yeah, they're playing so well as a team, right? Everyone knows exactly what they need to do. The placements, the pathing, everything is looking good. Squiddy able to find one zombie, finding XD as well, but already in that tube up top of A. And again, 
this bomb is getting planted. I believe Viper Pit did Five go down there. Uh, oh, no, it's it did not. Yeah, I think it will soon. Yep, there uh, yes, it is. there it is. There is the Viper Pit there from Kuropi. Uh, able to find a kill again onto a float. Entering this site with this ultimate yeah, online is so, so hard. Because what this Viper Pit does is that when you enter it, you kind of decay, right? You lose mm -hmm. a lot of your health when you're standing inside of it. Whereas Viper oh! does not. Wicked able to find a kill, though, on... 272 v3 galaxy and wicked the only two left standing but with this bomb already planted the viper pit down it is going to be a Last miracle the Wellington are able to pick this one up gropey three yeah. on the round so far trying to find this last kill yeah. if you're able to get a viper's pit down post plant that's yeah. basically a round win there's mm -hmm. very very few teams that would be able to fight their way back through it unless yep. you manage to kill the viper themselves which carapy mm -hmm. knew how important she was to that team to that moment played passive stayed alive and just waited for weddington to walk into that trap that she set out so I and mean, that is now a five round lead that marvin ridge are holding on to three more rounds of their attack to go through and you know ben i want to continue seeing this this communication this ability to plan their entries out especially mm -hmm. keep an eye on how xd and carapy use their smokes and waves and to block the vision moving forwards yeah, again, Kurobi with this bomb in hand. Now, looking like it's going to be a hard push over to this B site. Swampster <gasps> still in a good position. Ooh, Not able to turn. find that kill. Switty able to flick around, find that kill onto the chamber. And now this B site is fully unlocked for Marvin Ridge wow. yet again. Hey, if you want an opening elimination, you look in this guy's direction. Yeah. Switty is putting on a masterclass of this duelist and is winning the gunfights, mind you. Those are some of the most important things you could ask for. The Brim ult only zones them back further, and it's just Headshot City. Marvin Ridge make quick work of round number 11. Man, this is just looking so good for this attacking side right now. And a little thing about Valorant, if you don't know the game, right? You have 12 rounds on the yep. attacking side, then you have 12 rounds on the defending side. It is a first to 13 round win, win by two. So we can get overtime. Let's say if it's 11-11, you're pretty much guaranteed an over... Oh, not quite. If it's like 12-11, yeah. then you're... No, 12-12. There 12. it is. There we go. 12, there we go. 12 <laughs> I'm in college. <laughs> trust me. Um, <laughs> 12-12, win by two, so it would have to be like a 14-12 kind of win here. But only a few more rounds Ow. left to Weddington go over to this defending side. But Marvin Ridge right now hoping to enter that half already at a 10-2 uh, lead. Marvin Ridge looking yeah. very good. Swamps are now opting to play this A site. Possibly a good switch Ooh. here, and it looks like it will do so. No one spotting them out just yet. Maybe <gasps> Swamps saw the kill, able to find it onto Switty. Oh. Possibly a second one onto XD. Oh, the snapback coming up Beautiful. huge. Zombie will fall seven, able to find that kill. And now the shock darts will be coming out from mm -hmm. this Sova character, just trying to gain space and clear uh, some parts of this objective yeah. here for Marvin Ridge. Marvin Ridge were banging on a showstopper, but it's been Swampster to shut it all down. That's a second with the headhunter. Just that pistol, one shot to the dome, and it's already taken out two players. Marvin Ridge have had enough of their fun on A. We're moving in the direction of B, but look what Weddington, they've already figured it out. They are booking it to the other side. The problem is these smokes make it so difficult to fight through. Mm -hmm. You can't even put down, you can't, you can't shoot through this Harbor Cove, and now you have to worry about the Viper wall going through. You can't see what's happening, but Wicked had the high ground onto XD. He didn't see it coming whatsoever. This Reyna player, Empress, still in hand. Can they manage to clutch this one out? 3v2 in favor of Weddington High here. It's going to be Kuropi and the Killjoy ready to go. Rad's Pie trying to find these kills one here. Ooh, wicked again. Will be able to find one wicked wow. finding Red's Pie, excuse me, uh, on this back. Wicked, wicked finding three. Wow. The Diffuse now coming through. A huge play coming through for Weddington. Despicable shots. That was three all to the head, and only with the sheriff. Last Mind you, that's a, that's a primary. I mean, it's a secondary Spend weapon, right? It, those are super cheap. That was a save round for a team such as Weathington. Being as far yeah. behind as they were falling, they mm -hmm. needed some sort of resurgence to come through. That's where Wicked came in. A sheriff only gameplay absolutely popped off, and it's going to give them one more chance to prove themselves here on the defense. Again.
Yep, buys coming through there for both sides. Just about a kind of an even uh, playing field yet again. It will be a Phantom, and I believe that's a Bucky there on the side of Weddington as well. Possibly going to hold these angles and just try to find these sneaky little kills across these corners but now galaxy has to come up with a huge hold the communication already coming through weddington on the rotation over to back up their Ooh. neon red spy able to find a kill through the box there onto galaxy and now marvin ridge pushing into this site trying to take control all they needed was one kill and it's the go button to go through wicked quick to slam the brakes on swampster these fast rotates they're not having any of it and they'll like to make quick work the showstopper might get the elimination trade yet it's still an even one on one an absolute bloodbath leaving only the viper 76 hp and a dream and can't get the kill around the corner strategy strikes for marvin ridge at the end but massive improvements for weddington ending their defense four to eight yeah an eight four scoreline going into the half is not in a huge mountain to climb right because mm -mm, when you're on not this uh defending side it it is s semi easier for marvin ridge to try to find these angles but icebox i think is kind of uh, an attacker favored map right because you have a lot of these angles to try to play through but again as i say that marvin ridge the the defending side is still pretty strong because yeah. there are angles but there's not a whole lot really of rotation power on this map. Yeah. Icebox, well, it, it can be very swingy, but actually it is one of the maps that mm -hmm. is most even yeah. of, across the entirety of Valorant, which is pretty crazy to say. There's a lot of points where like, oh, this feels so attacker's favorite. Oh, this feels mm -hmm. so defender's favorite. And that's very true through portions of the map. And I mean, even now, look at how Weddington are playing this defense. That's four players stacked on A, leaving only Red's Pie on towards B and the mid site uh, just to try to hold off any of the lurkers but Morgan Rich they played their cards correctly they had that prediction Spike and have kept down. themselves even so Spike far seven in particular a. has been popping remaining. off on the sofa couple eliminations either way and if you're gonna leave anybody to defend a site alone it's gonna be Red's pie that'll be the first defense round one for Marvin Ridge yeah, Marvin Ridge already with a really strong defense uh, set up there right not really sitting back and waiting for disaster to happen they just they took it the fight to them, right? Yep. Weddington unprepared uh, for that push up from Marvin Ridge, but a great play from both sides. I like the approach that Weddington took uh, on this attacking side, just trying to really force that A push there, but Marvin Ridge, we're ready. Yeah, Marvin Ridge has looked incredible in terms of their team coordination, their communication. Mm -hmm. Those are what sets some of our good Valorant teams from the great ones, especially at a high school level when you're playing for your first week of competition. I mean, this is some outstanding stuff that Marvin Ridge are putting down right now. They're on this bonus round. They have all of these great Watch weapons to work mm -hmm. with and are really just looking to outmatch Weddington with their superior weapons here. Yeah, Weddington again kind of looking towards this a site push down. stim coming through from zombie they're just trying to get aggressive was able to get tucked behind Smoke's that down. wall there able to dodge out on the shots coming through from marvin ridge but again this harbor wall is so hard to push through not only can you not see through it but you can't shoot through it either so it's very difficult to Whoa. push through that one switty able to find a huge pickup onto wicked there the reina off the board on the side of weddington 4v5 now for Weddington, if they are trying to approach this A site, doesn't look like they will, but Red mm. Pie able to find a rotation kill on a float. 3v5 now, Marvin Rich looking good. Yeah, Marvin Rich, they're up in numbers, but don't seem to have Weddington nailed down in terms of location. Catching Galaxy out there is going to be big. Weddington, though, have worked their way over to B, know that it's clear temporarily, and have the spike on down. Zombie, though, has to find a way out of the situation. We're in for a nasty surprise. Finds himself face to face with four different players. Oh, but he's still going to hang around to try to catch one of them off guard if possible. But the guns, you're outmatched in the weapons, in the damage gain. This was a round that Marvin Ridge was set to win from the very start. Yeah, Zombie just trying to hunker down and hold the point on their own, but just unable to pick up those kills. Tried as they may, but with that gun advantage that Marvin Ridge had, with just a pistol, it's very hard to yeah. win those exchanges, especially when you're up against four people. Kuropi as well on that flank angle, able to pick up that last kill from Marvin Ridge. 10-4 now, the scoreline <laughs> in this map, but 
looking that. good across the board. We see some good sportsmanship there in the I chat. Love, love to see it. Gamers supporting gamers, right? Always fun to see. Yeah, I mean, you're supporting each other, right? And just the smaller perspective, hey, you guys are pretty good. I mean, that's that, that's awesome. I mean, especially in a competition, the fact that these players can still, like, they respect each other. They're yeah. like, all right, we're peers. Like, th this mm -hmm. is what we do for fun. This is how we kind of want to build ourselves up. This is where we can hang out with our friends, as a matter of fact. But so we're looking more ahead in this game. This is big round for Weddington. Mm -hmm. You now have your full big, big scary guns, as we like to say. <laughs> so these are the weapons that you can meet Marvin Ridge head on head with. And even then, you grabbed quite a few trades out in that previous round. So Weddington right now uh, are at least even. But Vote has to get the shot off. We'll manage to grab Carapy. Not a bad trade at all. Still getting even. And with your nearly cracked through sight B. Well, I say nearly because uh, Marvin Ridge is about to meet Weddington exactly there. Don't exactly have this high ground positioning, so Wicked working from this lower angle, having to peek several players at once. A risky task for a duelist player, but exactly what this role is going to require. Why you put people with such great aim, such as Wicked, on this position. You think back to the clutch that they had earlier, Ben, and already proving why you need to be respecting the Reyna. Wicked with this Bulldog, a very strong kind of econ-friendly gun here. Able to find another kill on to Switty as well. 4v2 since we're 4v1. Wicked. Wicked, a possible 4-piece here on nice. the ground will be able to do so. Huge pickups from the Reyna and a huge round win yeah. for Weddington. Yeah, I started this round by talking about how important Weddington need to get this round under their belts. Not only for the sake of their credit economy. I mean, look at this. Marvin Ridge can barely buy up to their full weapons yep. where you're still essentially working on a part of a bonus slightly mm -hmm. unmatched in terms of damage which is yes a little bit unfortunate yet this is also a momentum thing for Weddington you yep. it's been a minute since they've come out on top of a round so no grabbing this much. one starting their attack off well like all right guys we've done it once we can go ahead and do it again here in round 16. Yeah especially if you get this round right and you're in that 10-6 kind of momentum swing that that's a huge boost uh, for your economy and your your weapon selection that you get to pick from, right? Now, a little spread out approach. I love seeing this Ooh. from uh, Weddington, but Red Spy and Seven in position already, wow. reading that beautifully. But look at where Rick Wicked is already over towards this A site. The rotation yeah. also coming through from Swampster now. Just going to take this plant, and now it, it kind of... It's not really in Weddington's favor, but no. it kind of is because now Marvin Ridge has to come into them. Yeah, you do get to control positioning. I wonder if they catch Swampster out here. I mean, surely there's no way you're expecting all the children to draw it. It's going to spot him out. At least we'll give one before his life is taken away. It's now up to Wicked 1v4. They've done it before. Can they manage to do it again? A scan of the recon bolts. Oh, their enemies know exactly where you are. You walk into three of them. It'll be Marvin Ridge taking their 11th round. Yeah, that dart hitting Wicked there, very unfortunate because yeah. when you get hit by that Sova drone dart, it just reveals where you are to yeah. everyone on the team, right? It's very difficult it's to really get... It's an unfair really game of cat and mouse. Yeah, it's a very <laughs> unfair game. You know where they are, but you're not sure where yeah. the entire other team is, right? So it, it's a little unfortunate that you get hit by that dart there, but... Nevertheless, a good round show from Weddington, unable to pick up those kills, unfortunately, because we saw Seven just getting that 2K early on, really separating and blowing that round up in favor of Marvin Ridge. Yeah. Right there. Weddington now. Looking for another win on this attack. I have an outlaw, a couple of rifles, all rifles, really, across the board. Operator, though, from Switty. That's scary. Yeah. That is scary. Switty's posted up on A site. Thankfully for Weddington, we'll not be going in that direction. You don't have to worry about the operator just yet. Fortunately, you don't have a float relic. Did see, didn't catch XD hanging up in the kitchen area right now. So I mean, Weddington looking to fully commit on to the B site. I mean, Marvin Ridge, they're, they're not all together yet. So if they're gonna move, this is gonna be some time to do so. But they gotta be careful about the angles that are being checked. Attempting the spike plant, leaving Wicked to win out the ones on the board. But unfortunately, the timing will get the better of them. Red Spy peaks at just the right moment. Grabbing the another, leaving only Galaxy alive. Having to take everyone out, which just isn't possible. Marvin Ridge up on a match point. Yeah, match point from Marvin Ridge here, match and point. likely will have a huge oh, no. gun advantage going oh, into this round oh, as well. Oh, oh. Uh, not, not a whole lot of money on the side of Weddington, right? 
but Marvin Ridge will able to is going to be able to have these full buys against Woody with that operator gun, a one shot kill even it even if it hits your big toe, right? <laughs> Which is a little unfortunate, uh, but hey. That's just how the game was that created. That's just how the operator gun works. Uh, and But they, they can be hard to hit sometimes, right? So Switty mm -hmm. uh, having very good aim throughout the entire map so far, trying to find one early kill as well. Opting to peek through Ooh. this mid area with the operator, but Swamps yeah. mm -hmm. able to find the kill. Instead, a huge pick of XD trying to find one, but Zombie able to find the response back. Now 4v3 in favor of Weddington. Mind you, this is Weddington desperate times. Call for desperate measures! And putting Swampster on top. That's two players down, the one with the up, and the one camping out in mid. And those are massive eliminations. Marvin Ridge now at a disadvantage for a rare point here in their map. Does catch a float on quite a long flank. Spike going down here absolutely has to happen. Galaxy plant successful. You'll have the Brimmels to make sure that no players are ready for a quick approach. Allowing proper setup for a post plant. Yeah, a really good plant coming through. Zombie uh -oh. trying to get into that corner, but Red's Pie able to find that angle instead. 89 HP to the name of the Killjoy here. It's 2v2, Kurope as well entering through this site. It's going to be a close one with the plant already down. Weddington mm -hmm. can really just play remain. time here, but Kurope able to find one. Swamps are now. It's a 1v1 health advantage Ooh, in favor of Red's Pie, but Swamps are again able to find that angle on that high ground and able to pick up another huge win for Weddington. Wow. Swampster is having a great game. It yeah. still has the most eliminations in the lobby, despite mm -hmm. being down six rounds right now. I mean, he is putting in the work on yeah. an agent that has struggled to remain relevant. I mean, Swampster, Wicked, those two are really helping lead Weddington towards greater success, mm -hmm. keeping their heads afloat. It is still desperation time, though. Twelve rounds on the side of Marvin Ridge. All mm -hmm. they need to do, close out one more, prevent the spike from going down or just stay alive. It's as simple as that to end this game. Weddington, massive comeback has to happen. Weddington now all five members opting to go towards this B push. Three members set up on the side of Marvin Ridge on this B site. The blinds coming through, the smokes coming through. Red's Pie able to kind of dodge out of everything so far. Going to use these smokes to her advantage as well here. Just Kind of sitting, waiting patiently, trying to find these angles, just waiting for Weddington to walk into them. On the defensive read, Hunter's Fury goes out and it manages to catch a zombie as he's trying to tiptoe his way out of the sight. Marvin Ridge off to a great start. The spike it still has potential to go back the other direction, potential for a rotation. Speaking of rotation, you're going to have a Switty in your back lines momentarily. Weddington have to make their move, and they need to do so quickly. Red Pie, certainly a scary sight to look at. But if you need somebody to come up big to be the hero, it's Swampster Elimination on the board. Should that open the floodgates? No, it's the move to move to the other direction. But the problem is Switty was never caught out. Swampster has to win the one, but no, the race player in at the back line. Marvin Ridge, just two eliminations away, 20 seconds away from winning their first game of the regular season. It's all up to Galaxy. They don't have time to plant Wicked Galaxy. Can they manage to catch any of these players? All Marvin Ridge need to do is stay alive for the next six seconds. And with them running as far away as they are, Exile, the plant, impossible. Sort of just a little bit too late. And they'll be the Marvin Ridge win. moving ahead with their first win of the VS ESL regular season. Yeah, Galaxy just trying to get in position, trying to just book it over to that A site. But with around 10 seconds left, you have to plant the bomb yeah. before the time runs out. It's not like other games where if you start the plant, mm -hmm. it'll let you complete the plant which is a little frustrating yeah. on the Valorant side. Sometimes you'd be like, oh, come on. Other games will let me plant that <laughs> bomb, right? Why can't yeah. you let me plant it? It just doesn't work out that way. But a great showing from Weddington, right? And mm -hmm. a great showing from Marvin Ridge as well. Both teams playing very together and cohesive. They have a game plan. Weddington just falling a little bit short there. But mm -hmm. great play from everyone 
uh, yeah. in this map. I'm, I'm really impressed specifically with Marvin Rage's coordination. Mm -hmm. Week one, you don't see this from yeah. a lot of teams. And not to mention, like, when you have somebody like Red's Pie, like, I was watching mm -hmm. her whenever we were on her POV. Her crossfire placement, yeah. incredible. I mean, it's always just at head level, no mm -hmm. matter what angle she's traversing. And that's allowing her to win so many of these ones. You l typically look at your duelist players, right? Yeah. To be the ones to get these eliminations. But with how mm -hmm. good she's playing on a defense character. I mean, there's just so much that Marvin Ridge have to work with. They understand yep. the meta. They played some of the best characters specifically mm -hmm. on Icebox, and they've clearly done their research and preparation. I'm so, if this is just week one, Ben, like, yeah. I want to see this team move further through the season. Yeah. Like, how much better can they really get? Yeah, there's, of course, still a lot of season to play, right? Yeah. So, with this being week one, like you said, <laughs> this a, is a great, high bar. <laughs> great showing from Marvin Ridge's Red Spy, as you mentioned. Just the ability usage and the placements of her abilities as well was very top tier and really elevated right, Marvin Ridge's game plan because there wasn't a lot of opportunity for Weddington to really find these angles because you would get spotted out by a turret or an alarm mm -hmm. bot, so a swarm bot yeah. even, just in position to find these kind of chokeholds and really put Weddington on the back foot. So a great uh, great play across the board, but on the side of Weddington as well, you look at Swampster, right, Swoosh. playing out of their mind on this chamber, able to find huge kills to keep Weddington in the running uh, for this game, but just, just barely falling short, but mm -hmm. still a lot of season left to play yeah. and a lot of improvement, of course, uh, to happen amongst both teams, right? It's only week one, so exactly. I'm very excited to see what happens next. Uh, one of my favorite things about Scholastic Esports in general is not only the, the in-game skills, like sure, you can learn how to aim, right. pretty cool, <laughs> but like you're learning how to interact with different people, mm -hmm. how to communicate effectively, thinking on the fly, coming up with new strategies. Yep. I mean, there's so many different like life skills that go mm -hmm. into competing in esports. Like, it, it's just awesome to see this continued development from these squads. I mean, as the season unfolds, of course, mm -hmm. Marvin Ridge set the bar high yeah. for other yep. teams that we're going to look at later down the line. But uh, just for being that week one matchup, both of these teams, I mean, their journey's far, far from over. Much to look forward to later on. Yeah, very, very excited to see what paths these teams take if they really kind of switch up kind of their agent selection, right? Because mm -hmm. there are I can't remember how many agents there are, but there is definitely more than just the 10 that we saw yes. today, right? There's a lot of different play styles that you can kind of look for to to learn and then play off of. And depending on what map you're on, right, this is only Icebox. There's yeah. plenty of other maps that you can select from, and a lot of different agents and strategies mm -hmm. come out to play on these different maps. So it's going to be interesting to see if Weddington, maybe they're not an Icebox team, maybe they're uh, a Breeze team or a Lotus team, Right, able to just find these other map of, uh, kind of advancements and advanced knowledge for these maps oh, yeah. can really go a long way for, for these teams. Mm -hmm. I want to see the same level of preparation that yeah. came in today. I mean, Marvin Ridge in particular, like they knew the meta, they knew the mm -hmm. lineups, they knew the setups. I mean, that is huge for a team. You can tell that they're very much in it to win it. And But they're not the only talented team that we're going to have here within the VESL conference. In fact, it's not the only game that we have competing. It is just Valorant for our Wednesday. And while that might conclude our broadcast here, we still have Super Smash Bros. coming up on Thursday and on Friday. We're going to end our week with some good old-fashioned Rocket League, which we're yeah. going to be back here on this channel for both of those. So make sure, go ahead, give it a follow. Stay supporting your high schoolers as they work their way through the eSports scene. It's been a pleasure casting VESL today. Of We've course. got so much more season to go, and we can't wait for you guys to join us on the journey.